Yeah, I can 100% guarantee you there is no microchip contained within that vial. So it contains three things. It contains the mRNA, that little protein that comes from the virus. It contains uh, a little fat globule that, the, that your cells bring in the protein with. Uh, and it contains the other liquid, which is both saline and a carrier molecule called polyethylene glycol. There is no chip in this thing. So the other question about data, I think is important. So the state and the CDC do collect data for two reasons. The first is that they wanna know who's been vaccinated to make sure that they can book you in for your second dose that's gonna come around in three weeks if it's a Pfizer vaccine or four weeks if it's Moderna. We wanna be able to make sure you get the second dose. We also wanna make sure we're vaccinating people who um, we know to have the greatest risk of a bad outcome. So they will want to know, do you have certain health conditions? They don't need you to identify them. They want to know that we're giving the vaccine to the right people. That data is de-identified before it goes to the CDC, who are simply trying to understand how quickly we've been able to get this vaccine into the community. It is not for tracking purposes. It does not contain um, social security details or, or information to track bank accounts or anything like that. It's not part of any registry. It's simply to understand how effective we have been in getting the vaccine to the people who need it and to make sure you get your second dose.